Hey, it's Mike here. One of the first things you're going to want to do when you are setting up your Xfinity system or gateway, you're going to want to get to the administrator page of your XFi router gateway and set it up as the bridge mode. That's specifically what you want. IP address, it's usually 10.0.0.1. It could be 192.168.0.1. Um, or 192.168.1.1, but it's usually 10.0.10.0.0.1. All right. And when you hear the default password is just admin and then password. All right. Now, when you first log in, it's going to tell you to change your password as you should. Now, I already changed my password, so I'm just going to log in with my updated password. And you should, once you're in, you should be able to get into this page. This is where you set up the bridge mode. It's very simple. It is right there on your first option there. Now, when you set up this bridge mode, that basically means that you take that one port and I'll highlight it on a screen over here and you connect that output port into the WAN port of your router. So I'm going to enable this. Keep in mind, it says enabling bridge mode will disable the Wi-Fi router functionality of the XFi gateway and turn off your existing private Wi-Fi network. If you have X5 pods, the gateway cannot be in bridge mode since the pods require the Xfinity gateway as your Wi-Fi router. In addition, you will not be able to access the X5 experience to manage your pods or any X5 settings. Are you sure you want to continue? This basically turns off all the uh, functionality, I guess you can call the cool functionality of the X5 in your system and just sets it up just straightly as a modem. All right, just basically a dumb modem. Now make sure that you have everything else you need have set up already pre-existing and ready to go. I'm just doing this because um, I had the previous setup as a gateway as well. And I'm just going through this again because they sent me a new one that is updated. They're saying your old one's outdated, which didn't really matter to me that much because I was using it as a modem anyway. But I just got the new one. So... This will apply in 90 seconds, and at which point in time, the output port of that specific section on the XFi will turn into the internet output port, basically, that you will connect to your WAN port. And that port, for me, is the one that is number four. And this is the XB8T. It's also the same thing for the XB7 maybe earlier, but it is also highlighted by a um, streak of color. If you look in the back of the unit, there are several ports on there. And for me, it was port number four, and it is has a red streak on it. Now you do that, and then you are good to go for using it completely as a bridge. Let me know if you have any questions about this and whether or not you should do this. If you're watching this video, chances are you know that your double NAT, which is double network address translation already behind, and this will interrupt certain things, such as if you're trying to access certain gaming uh, online games, uh, there could be some issues there in, in some certain older games, or if you're doing some sort of VPN stuff, which I typically do, uh, or if you have any other special circumstances that you need to have direct access and line out. Um, this will, however, potentially make your network a little bit less secure. So you want to be able to uh, make sure that all your equipment is pretty good, has pretty good security surrounding it first before you do any of this stuff. And that is outside the scope of this video. Let me know if you have any questions.